watching the pomp of the coronation of King Charles III, I want to bring your attention to King Charles II. In 1660, King Charles II came to the throne and ordered that all preachers that did not belong to the Church of England be imprisoned or banished. Bunyan's congregation had been meeting at an Anglican church, but they were told they could no longer have services there. Still, he continued preaching in other places, and later that year was warned that he would soon be arrested. He refused to escape and was arrested and sentenced to three months imprisonment. He was threatened with more jail time, banishment from England, and possible execution if he did not agree to stop preaching. Although he could have his freedom whenever he wanted it, Bunyan refused to renounce preaching, opting to stand firm and keep a clear conscience. Instead, he was in prison for a total of 12 years in the Bedford County Jail. While imprisoned, he became the pastor of a congregation of inmates and stayed busy writing religious tracts, sermons, and nine books, including Grace Abounding to the Chief of Sinners, which was published in 1666. In 1671, King Charles II issued a declaration of religious indulgences that released thousands of nonconformists from prison, including Bunyan in 1672. He immediately returned to preaching, but three years later was put back in jail again for six months. It was during this time that he authored The Pilgrim's Progress, which was published after his release. Bunyan's imprisonment brought great hardship to his family, but God had a purpose. Over the next 200 years, The Pilgrim's Progress would rank just behind the King James Bible as the most common and important book in evangelical Protestant households. It has been translated into more than 200 languages, including 80 in Africa alone. The Pilgrim's Progress is a book that changed my life in high school, and I was uh, drawn to Pilgrim's Progress because of the message in it. And then when I found out John Bunyan wrote it as someone who had suffered for his faith, I was greatly humbled. I was greatly humbled. Dear friends, John Bunyan spent 12 and a half years in prison for the conviction of freedom of conscience, freedom of religion, and a passion to maintain his conscience before God. That had God called him to preach, and he was going to preach. And we are on the verge right now, dear friends, of the church being persecuted. That is, those who stand for righteousness and truth against the tide of evil, against the lies of the evil one, those who stand for righteousness and truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. And someone can claim to be representing Christianity, but not embrace the truth, not walk in truth. They won't face persecution nearly as much as someone who stands for truth. We need to take John Bunyan's example. You know, John Bunyan and his stand for righteousness has blessed many people in this book, The Pilgrim's Progress. And this book has been turned, in, turned into a movie. Um, this book has been turned into a movie, The uh, Pilgrim's Progress, and on, on YouTube. You can watch you can watch, uh, you can watch uh, that movie on YouTube here, and it is uh, amazing. Yeah, they've made several versions of this movie, of Pilgrim's Progress, about the man with the sack on his back, representing the burden. And I, I would encourage you to watch that. I will put a link to that in the description box. God bless you all. Jesus is coming soon, and he is the king. The real coronation is going to be for Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. He's already king. He already reigns, He is, he, and he will reign forever and forever, and he is coming soon. He is coming soon. Crown him with many crowns, the Lamb upon his throne. Hark how the heavenly anthem drowns all music but its own. Awake my soul and sing 
of him who died for thee, and crown him as the matchless king throughout eternity. Crown him the Lord of life, who triumphed o'er the grave, who rose victorious in the strife, and lives my soul to save. Awake my soul and sing of him who died for thee, and hail him as the matchless king throughout eternity. We're going to, at the marriage supper of the Lamb, the rapture, dear friends, going to take us to glory. We're going to have a big celebration and crown Jesus king. He's already king, but we're going to have a celebration and a coronation for the real king, the eternal king. Yes, the kings that they have coronations for today, they may live one or two or three or four, maybe five, six, seven years more. But Jesus Christ is the king for eternity, and he has. He will reign forever and ever. As Handel's Messiah said, he will reign forever and ever. King of kings and Lord of lords. King of kings and Lord of lords. And he shall reign forever and ever. So dear friends, give honor to the real king, to the true king to the king who will rule forever and forever. And we do pray for our brothers and sisters right now all over the world. We pray for the Christians in Nigeria, the Christians in Armenia. We pray for uh, those who are under pressure to compromise. We pray, Father, for uh, King Charles III here that's uh, having his coronation today. We pray, Father, that what is left of your word in this coronation service will touch many people's hearts. We know the campaign from uh, Living Waters to pass out a million tracks. Lord, we pray you bless those tracks to the people, Lord, and that the coronation of King Charles III will lead many people to humble themselves and find Jesus Christ as the true King and worship Him and know Him. And Lord, we do pray for England at this time and our brothers and sisters there in England. Lord, that some of them are facing persecution already for standing for truth and righteousness. In your word, we pray you bless them and protect them, Lord. And give King Charles III there a, a heart of empathy toward those who stand for righteousness, Lord, and truth, so that he will also protect them so that he will also protect those who stand for righteousness and truth, as John Bunyan did. And I pray, Lord, that you bless this movie, Pilgrim's Progress, that John met, Bunyan wrote the book, that changed my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for changing my life. And Lord, I pray you bless this book and this movie, The Pilgrim's Progress, ongoing, Lord, and honor the commitment that John Bunyan had for 12 and a half years as a student that was in prison. And Father, if you call any of us, if you call any of us here, Lord, to suffer for your name's sake, to stand for righteousness at a time it'll cost us to have to suffer, then Lord, help us to suffer with conviction, with joy, with peace, and perseverance. In Jesus' name, amen.